I'm here in the XL Moto garage and today we're going to be looking at some of the 2022 offerings from Alpine Stars with their ready to race missile collection. The Alpine Stars Mission Ignite version 2 full race leather suit. Now this is the next generation in a very well trusted, known and ridden race suit from Alpine Stars. But what they have done here is taken the technology to the next level to give you an incredibly good value for money, but very high tech race suit option. So let's talk through some of the specifications. If you're looking for a full leather suit that's going to keep you safe out racing and meet the specifications that you need as far as the CE level 2 protection in the armor and the triple A class as far as the overall material fabric stitching, then this is going to be a really good option for both your track and your everyday riding. And that is because there's lots of design features in here to keep you comfortable. So first of all, the overall shape of the garment you can see is pretty shaped for the ergonomic position that you're going to be in on a motorcycle. So you're not going to be fighting the material and the bend of it in quite the same way because it is designed to be in that position. Also on the comfort side of things, Alpine Stars have tried to make this as flexible as they possibly can while also maintaining the strength and the protection that you need in those fibers. So you can see in lots of different areas across the suit, you have these stretch panels. So you've got it on the knees, the elbows, the shoulders, all the way down the side of your torso and across the back to give you that stretch to be able to move and flex with comfort. You then have stretch material in all of the underside of the panels. So here under the arms, all through the crotch, down the back of the legs and into your ankles. So that stretch material again is giving you a bit more comfort. They've even added in a little zip on the calf here should you have slightly larger size calves to enable you to fit in. And then the lower part of the suit here has an additional stretch section on the front side, and that's really to minimize the amount of material that's going into your boots. So again, it's all down to comfort. But comfort on a motorcycle in full leathers isn't just about being able to move, it's also about temperature control. So Alpine Stars are using some very clever materials in the suit to keep your temperature regulated. The first part of that is the perforated leather panel. So across here in your abdominal area, you can see very slight little dapples through the material and that is allowing airflow through into your torso. You then have this matrix material. Now this is a brand new material from Alpine Star. It is actually stronger than leather in terms of abrasion and tearing, but it allows the air to flow straight through. So if you hold this panel up to the light, you can actually see light through it. And that is also going to give you the airflow. So you've got those on your torso. You also have another matrix panel here on the back, which is going into the CE approved neck plate armor that you have here. Again, to get the air circulation and flow through to the body to keep you cool as you're riding along. Looking at the armor, as I mentioned, it is CE2 approved, but you have armor in the shoulders, into the elbows. It does have pockets internally to take chest plates which you can buy additionally if you're interested in the chest plates do have a look at the xl moto website because they are available and it has the capacity to take a back protector down to the knees we have knee guards and then you've got your sliders which are removable so when you wear them out you can get some new sliders on there an exciting part about this race suit is its compatibility with the Alpine Stars AirTech 5 air vest system. Now, I've actually personally ridden with an Alpine Stars air vest and during a rally in Morocco had a pretty nasty crash and I'm confident I wouldn't have ridden away from that accident if I hadn't had the air vest on. So it's something that I'm very supportive of. This leather suit comes ready to take the air vest. Now, something worth noting, if you're not going to be running this 
suit with the air vest is that it doesn't come with a back protector as standard. That is something that you, I'd recommend you go and buy, have a look at the XL Moto back protectors that are available and find something that's compatible because it doesn't have that as standard because it is designed to go along with the air vest. As far as getting in and out of the suit, you do have zips on your wrists and on your ankles to help you with fitting and comfort. And then if we take a look at the inside of the jacket, you'll see that there is a liner in there. It is removable via zips up at the top of the bottom, the wrists and the legs. And this liner is actually only coming down to about your knees. That simply makes it easier to put on and off and to reinstall into the leathers. Up top, we can see where the airbag integration will plug in. The hip protection that this has is a bioform kind of protector. Again, it's CE approved, but it means it's incredible in the flexibility side. So I can pull it out a little bit here and you can see how flexible that is. Again, to give you additional comfort, those hip protectors actually install into the liner, not into the external of the levers. And that's to make sure that they are positioned nice and snugly onto the right part of your body for your protection. But in quick summary, this is a highly protective, good value for money offering from Alpine Stars, bringing the Alpine Stars next generation technology to you to keep you safe out on the track. But they also do a jacket version of this. So let's take a look at that. The Missile 2 leather jacket. Now this boasts a lot of the benefits that the full leather race suit has, but in a slightly more practical version for everyday riding use. It's designed to be highly protective, comfortable and versatile in the riding conditions. So let's talk through some of the specifications on this. First up, I think the most important thing to start with is the fact that this is also compatible with the Tech Air 5 air vest system from Alpine Stars. So if we look inside, you can see where that plugs in and it is ready to take that. It's worth noting that if you are running this jacket similarly to the full leathers without the air tech system, it is worth getting yourself a back protector because it doesn't come with an inbuilt back protector. So have a look at the XL Moto website and you can have a look at a lot of the different back protectors that are available, including Alpine Stars. The rest of the jacket boasts the CE Level 2 approved armor. So you've got those in the elbows and the shoulders. You then have class triple A classification across the rest of the jacket, which is the abrasion, tear, and strength of the stitching, etc., across the jacket. So we then have some practical features in this, including pockets and air vents. So up under your armpits here, you've got a little air vent that zips open and closed. This again does have the stretch material under your arms and your elbows to give you a little bit more versatility in moving and the stretch leather capability around the back and the top of the elbow. Made out of the highest quality bovine leather, if we then look to the inside of the jacket, we can see that it has a mesh membrane for comfort and a couple of internal pockets to give a little bit of practicality. And to the bottom here, we have a zip, which is currently blanked off, but you can remove that blank and attach that to the top of your trousers. And that is a near full wrap around on your body as far as the zip. So it's not just the front or just the back, it wraps right round. The touch and feel of this jacket is really yummy, high quality bovine leather, very similar to the race suit. If we look to the inside of the jacket, we have a lovely mesh membrane, which again is for comfort and airflow and some practical pockets going on there to give you a little bit of versatility. Down at the bottom here, you can see we have a full zip. Now that gives you the ability to attach your jacket to your trousers. Now, some jackets only have a short zip 
on the back, which depending on the track and sort of riding that you want to do might not be allowed. This jacket's worth noting, that zip does come around the majority of the jacket to attach to your trousers. So this jacket is available in a wide range of sizes from 46 all the way up to 60. And there are some really cool, funky, bright and different color variations. So do check out the XL Moto website for the different color options that you have available. The Alpine Stars Missile Ignition V2 features a race fit, premium bovine leather with dual layers in exposed areas. It's tech air ready and can accommodate the Tech Air 5 airbag system, full DFS armor, internal race spec GPR armor, BioFlex race hip armor, detachable comfort liner, and is CE level 2 protection with AAA class certification. The Alpine Star Missile Leather Jacket features a sport fit, Tech Air ready and can accommodate the Tech Air 5 airbag system, is premium bovine leather for superior abrasion resistance, Nucleon Flex Pro Armor, prepared for a back protector, and offers CE Level 2 protection with AAA class certification. So there we have the Alpine Star Missile range. So we've got the Missile V2 leather jacket and the Missile Ignite full leather suit. Now, both of these are designed to give you full race protection with slightly different variations for their everyday practicality, but they are both full of top of the range Alpine Stars tech to keep you safe and comfortable out there riding. Now, we'd love to hear what you think in the comments. Let us know what race suit, what jackets you are riding in, and if you have any questions about these. They are, of course, all available on the XL Moto website. And we thank you so much for watching here in the XL Moto garage and look forward to seeing you in the next video.